Alright Charms, right now we're looking at an iconic American image called Nighthawks, painted in 1942 by Edward Hopper. The scene is a clean, almost abandoned looking city with very few signs these buildings, other than the diner, have ever been used. There's a single cash register in one of the windows, and an advertisement above the diner for cigars, but really, not much else. All the life and action in this painting appear inside that diner window. About two-thirds of this painting is occupied by that window, a large isosceles trapezoid that projects light onto the rest of the urban landscape. The diner's corner seems to stick out onto the scene like a shard of glass. There's not much else going on inside that diner either, so how come this painting is so engaging? It might have something to do with the composition. If we look for a vanishing point here, we'll find that it exists somewhere behind that diner and off to the right, and the diner seems to point directly towards something else. Without a visible vanishing point, the painting has no end, no conclusion, no final resting place to stop your eye's journey through the painting. So we are forced to follow that trapezoid to see where it points, and continue to be unfulfilled since it points us towards nothing as well. Consequently, our eyes stay put in the diner with a few bored looking patrons, but at least there's light there. In this way, the composition both compels us forward and forces us to stay still simultaneously. We want to stay inside that diner, which leads to another problem. How does one get inside? There is no door. For a painting with so little action, it really does engage with us dramatically. It pushes us in two entirely different and futile directions, then compels us to stay and leaves us unfulfilled in everything. The question then, as always, remains, why? Why does Edward Hopper produce this work in the 1940s? Why was this painting successful within that time period? What about American culture in the 1940s led to its production and its popularity? In 1942, the U.S. was engaged in a world war, and perhaps that contributes something to the abandoned looking city. But what about the culture sympathizes with the tension between these two opposing forces? One, the desire to progress and move forward towards something undefined and unknown. And two, the desire to stay still, comfortable and warm, bathed in the light of a place that we cannot enter. I mean, I've felt this before. Sometimes I have the urge to take a risk into the unknown, but simultaneously feel like staying still and playing it safe might be the better option. Is this just a feeling that's universal to all humans, or particularly strong emotion for the 1940s? Now, I have an embarrassing lack of American history in my background, and I can't propose a hypothesis with any confidence. But you know who might have some ideas? Keith Hughes of Hip Hughes History. I'm gonna give him a call. Hey, Keith. Hey! James! How you doing? What up in Europe? I'm doing great. Good. Yeah, uh, no, it's, it's not a hut. No. I have electricity and everything. Actually, I'm, I'm even making a video right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I called to talk to you about. I'm finally doing an American piece. Yeah, that would be great! It's a, it's a piece called Nighthawks by Edward Hopper. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is, I need a bit of help. I don't know too much about American history, so what I need is uh, a little background. A little background on what's going on in the States during World War II. I'm just kind of popping out a World War II video on the home front. All right, great. You, you have that ready? Yeah. Awesome. That's really great. Okay, that'll help my viewers out to help give some context to the painting. Yeah, that would be great. All right, I'll direct them to your website. All right, James, have a meal for me, but don't make it mean I'm a vegetarian. I know you think I'm weird. Catch you later, hopefully when I'm back in the States. All right, see you later. All right, so Keith Hughes made a video for us. You can visit it by clicking here, and if it gives you any ideas as to how to link the painting to the culture, please share them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to Keith Hughes' Hip Hughes History for American History and Government content.